SBG as a, as a whole, as you guys know, is lots and lots of isolation sparring, isolation rounds, so you get the timing, break things up into parts, drill them separately, spend lots of time on the drills. We don't, at camps like this, when we're doing seminars, we do a lot less drilling and a lot more instruction just because I only have this time, short time with you. But any one of these would have been a class at my own gym and we would have spent 15 or 20 minutes working the fundamentals and make sure everybody can do it correctly and then 45 minutes or an hour drilling. And I like long rounds. I like to do five, six minutes per side because sometimes it takes a couple minutes to figure out what your partner's doing on top or bottom so you can adjust. And it's in that moment where you adjust so that they no longer can exploit that particular weakness or piece of your game where you're really learning. Right? So if you're doing really short rounds, two or three minute rounds, there's a lot of energy and cardio being expended there, but oftentimes you don't have enough time to really feel either on top or bottom what's going on enough to be able to adjust and change your game in, during the round, which is really what I want to have happen. And that's what you want. You want them to be able to catch you once, twice, three, four times during the round. You want to fail. It's like I always try and re remind everybody, failure is it's not just okay, it's an essential part of the whole process. If you're not failing, you're not probably not learning that much, right? And then the material, fundamental. Nothing I showed you is gonna change pretty much at all if we take the gi off and we go no gi. Nothing I showed you is gonna change very much if we start hitting each other, right? The, the fundamental movements I showed you would be essentially the same. They don't change if you're 60 and 20. They don't change if you're male or female, if you're a heavyweight or a lightweight, the transcends all that stuff. And really it has nothing to do with what I do or what I'm good at in particular or not good at. It's just the core mechanics of the delivery system. And then you guys are gonna take that and you're gonna do what we just did and each of you is gonna find a different way to apply it. Different way you like to attack a Kimura, different type of setup that you do different way of holding cross sides where you feel more comfortable and it's always going to be a little bit different. And the only thing I'd like to, to remind you of is when you become teachers, don't teach that. Don't teach what you're good at. Don't teach what you do because it's probably going to be irrelevant to most people in the room. Go back and just teach the basic mechanics and let them figure out what the best way for them to do it. That's the SBG way. Make sense? And then everybody, by the time they get to black belt, everybody should be very different. But at the core, the operating system that everybody's using, the things that make them good, those we all share in common.